Welcome to the first day of my making it work this week and it is Monday and I had one day off. It sure doesn't seem like it though, you know, because I was filming and I was editing and I was doing this and I was doing that around the house. So one day is not enough, but I have to make it work. I have to. So let's make the best of it, right? All right, for this week, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing, my first impressions. And quite a bit of it actually is from my haul that I did this weekend. And uh, the first thing is my Ulta Brow Tint in Medium. And that is the... Okay, and that is that. Um, it's pretty dark, but, you know... My bangs are covering most of it, <laughs> and I'll get used to it. So, um, but I do love the way this goes on. I I love the formula of the Ulta brow tint. I can say that is one Ulta product that I really give a thumbs up to. All right, then I'm using my Ulta eye primer. Well, two two Ulta products because I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I've had it a long time already. And I'm using it until it's used up. It takes forever to use this because, you know, little dabble do you. So, I really like this. Okay, the next thing is, um, what I'm using all week, is my Rimmel Wonder Lash. And I'm sure this is black as black or something, I don't know. Oh, it's just black. Okay, and this is the wand. And this is not my favorite wear Rimmel Mascara. Now, there are some that I really like, but uh, this wand, if you can see that, has got those really spiky um, plastic, um, you know, on the spoolie. <laughs> Spikes. <laughs> and if you get them too close to your eye, they hurt. And I really don't think this does anything for my eyes. Um, my eyes today, I don't think it looks like they're, I have mascara on. Um, so I'm not real happy with this stuff, but I don't want to wear eyeliner because I sweat so much during the day. So, you know, that would help a little bit, you know, some, even some water line on the top would help a lot, but not when I'm working. Okay. For the next thing, my blush, I use the Catrice Illuminating Blush in Coral Me Maybe, which... I am loving so far, although, you know, I don't think this really, one thing though is the caps are a little hard to get up, get open. I don't think this really looks more so coral than um, pink on pink, really. Um, it may have just a touch of it in it, but not much. The next thing I used for my highlighter was my, my um, Catrice Illuminating Highlighter, um, Champagne campaign. I love that name. I don't know why. And this one is really tough to get into sometimes. <sighs> if it takes me too long, I'll just forget it. <sighs> there you go. And like I said in my haul, the packaging pulled me in on this stuff. I love the packaging on these. Okay, for my eyeshadows this week, I am using a combination of my my um, 35... O M and my 35OS Morphe palettes. And what I'm going to do is I was going to use um, a shade for my, my transition and my um, my base. I was going to use a shade a day. You know, a different shade a day for those. But I don't know that I have well, I might have for my eyes. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Today I did not do that, though. I used this one for my, my base, and I used this one for my transition, because I just thought it was such a pretty transition color. Okay, and then I'm going to use the shimmer one for my eyelid every day, and I'm going to use one row a day, I mean one shadow out of a row a day, and then on the sixth day I'll just pick one. So today, I used this one, that gold. 
See, there's something every day I can use. So I'll just let those sit. Show you my eyes. See, it doesn't look like I have mascara on at all, my eyes. And this is such a light gold, too. Okay, and for my lips to this week or today, I am using the Urban Decay. And this is the Vice in Trance, and it is metalized. And this looks like that. So pretty. Such a pretty color. Okay, for the eyeshadows, I wanted to tell you a little bit. They are powdery. Um, even though I tap my brush off before I put it on every time. Um, still had powder underneath. That was a little bit hard to get off, actually. And not a lot of glitter, though. Um, amazingly. Not a lot of glitter, but I did have powder underneath, even though I tapped my brush off every time. Like I said yesterday, I'm beginning to think it's something in my room. Or maybe it's something I'm wearing. Maybe it's something in my eyeshadows. Maybe it's something, you know, who knows. Um, but as soon as I can get insurance, I'm going to see about starting to get the allergy shots. Because I tell you what, I need to take something for sure. So anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow. So sorry about the sneezing. And please join me on day two tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. This is Tuesday and day two of my Making Work series. And let's just get to it. I'll let you know what I'm wearing for the week. And the first thing is my Ulta Brow Tint. And that is in medium. My Ulta... Um, eye primer. I switched mascaras. I tossed the Rimmel mascara because it hurt my eyes and it didn't make a bit of difference. You couldn't even see it on my eyes. So um, away it went. I have got too many mascaras to to keep trying ones that don't work for me. So um, I don't recommend that one whatsoever. So I, I changed it. I just grabbed one out of my drawer. And I've got the e.l.f. Mineral Volumizing Mascara in Jet Black. This is what it looks like here. And this is the spoolie. And it seems to be drying out a little bit. So this probably won't last a whole lot longer either. But at least you can see it. You know, see a little bit of difference on my eyes. Um, for my eye palette, oh, never mind. I'm using the Catrice Highlighting Powder in Champagne Campaign, which you guys know I love the, the name of this. I wasn't going to shut this because I have such a hard time opening it. I don't know. That's one thing about these palettes. They're very hard to open. Okay, and for... The Catrice blush, I'm using the Coral Me Maybe. This is such a pretty blush. Really pretty. For my eyes, I'm using my, for my base and my transition, I'm using my 35OM palette. Or 35, 350M, is that, or is it 35O? I don't know. Anyway, today I used this for my base. Yesterday I used this one. I'm going to use try to use a different one every day. And then I used this for my transition color, which is a bit, got a bit of orange in it. And you guys know I'm not a fan of orange. And this is not my best look. Um, but I decided I was going to step out of my box a little bit, and I used this one. Since I'm going rows, I used this one this today. Tomorrow will be this row. Okay, so here is my eye look. You know, it's not bad. I, I gotta say, it looks better than I thought it would, but it's not a bright orange. You know what I mean? It's kind of a brownish orange, so it's not that bad. And my face, and thank you for joining me today, and we will see you lipstick. Today I'm using my J.Lo from the Collection Exclusive. This is from L'Oreal, I believe. L'Oreal, yep. And the number is 705 Jennifer's Pink. 
looks like that in the tube and this on my lips. A little bit different, see? But I still like it. I wanted to show you what I did yesterday. That is my version of Tinkerbell. I found it on the internet. And I and he added it was in black and gray on the internet. And he added the pink for, you know, and the the sparkles, the pixie dust and around the wings. The only regret I have is I think that I, I'm wondering if I should have had it facing the other direction so I could see it, or is it this better this way so people, so if you hold out your arm, people can see it better. I don't know. It's too late now. Can't change it. But I love it. And it really doesn't hurt at all. It hurt. The wrist really hurt. And then uh, the farther up he got my, on my arm, it really, you know, it was uncomfortable, but it really wasn't painful like it was down here. It was really painful on my there wrist. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, so I'll let you know, since I did that, I'm running out of time again, as usual. Um, Ulta Brow Tint in Medium. The Ulta Eye Primer. Capri Catrice. I keep wanting to call it Cap Caprice or something. Catrice in Co Coral Me Maybe blush. Isn't that pretty? I just love their their packaging. And Catrice highlighting powder in Champagne Campaign. And you guys know I love that. I don't know why. I just love, love it. Okay, Elf blush or Elf mascara in. Uh, So black, I think. I can't read it. It's very small. But that is my elf. And for eyes this week, I wish I would have went in order on my um, on my mattes palette because I'm getting confused already. And it's only Wednesday. Okay, today I used this for my base. That is a beautiful color. And then I used this for my transition. I'm running out of lighter transition colors. I'm a little worried. I might have to use, because a couple of those are a little bit too dark, I think. And then for, I'm on my third row. Today's the third day of the week. On my third row of um, shimmers, I used this color, of course. Kind of a bronzy rose color, and it is absolutely so pretty on the eyes, I think. Okay. And my lipstick today is my Essence, brand new Essence lipstick in 05 Cool Nude. And that is this color. And that's what it looks like. I thought since I was doing a little bit darker, I mean it's not very dark, but a little bit darker eye I would go with my nude today. And that is a pretty nude. I mean that is the color that kind of suits me. This or just a touch darker. But this color is so pretty. I really like it a lot. All right, guys, that is my Wednesday. And I got my tattoo on Tuesday the 19th. And I will let you know every day how it's feeling, you know. But um, I, can, I know it's there. Um, it didn't bother me in the shower. I just have to, to wash it with soap with my fingers and then let it air dry. And then I put some Aquafure on it. I think that's what it's called. I got it in my Target box that I have not even hauled yet. But that's what I've been using on it. Um, or today, that's what I used on it. I used regular lotion last night, which I don't think I was supposed to. I was supposed to use unscented, and I think the stuff I used last night was scented. But anyway, that's all I had. And then I used the Aquifer Pure. I'll, I'll show it to you later. Um, this morning on it, after my shower... And I know it's there, you know, if I move my arm just right, I can feel it. But it really doesn't hurt that bad, and it's not as near as red as I thought it would be either. You know, kind of irritated looking. Um, it has not weeped at all. It hasn't bled. So 
that's a good sign. This is my first professional tattoo. The ones I got before was from a, a couch tattooer, if you know what that means. That means just somebody in your house that has his own, it wasn't even a gun, it was a homemade gun. Um, it was a, a pen, pen tube with a needle in it that he'd probably used before. And um, I was drunk. <laughs> That's all I can say. I was drunk. But, you know, I, I still, you know, I'm still responsible for them. They're still on me forever. I've got one here and I've got one on my back. But this one's my first professional. Uh, his name, um, he wrestles. He's a former WWE wrestler. And he tattoos. And he's a, like a traveling tattooer. He works in several shops. But then he travels around. And he does like guest spots type type of a deal. And um, he makes pretty good money from what he said. This tattoo would have normally cost upwards of $300 for this tattoo in a shop. And he gave me a super, super good deal. And my boss was willing to take a, a little bit a week out of my check. So that's how that works. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Good morning Bye -bye. and welcome to day four of making it work this week. And today is Thursday. Um, show you what I'm wearing for the week. Today I am wearing the Ulta Brow Tint in Medium. Ulta Eye Primer. Elf. Uh, mineral volumizing mascara and I always have such a hard time reading this it's in jet black that will be going bye bye after this week it is um, super dry I've had a lot of my mascaras for a long time and a lot of them I started at the same time so they're equally drying out so I have recently gotten rid of like three, four, five mascaras out of my collection. So um, I can go into my drawer and get more out, I guess. <laughs> but it's it's time to say goodbye to them anyway. Okay. Uh, Catrice Blu Illuminating Blush and Coral Me Maybe. Catrice Highlighting Powder in Champagne Campaign. For my eyeshadow today, I'm using, first one I'm using is my 35OM palette, which is all mattes, and if I can get it open. Okay, today I used um, this for my base, and I used this one for my crease today. I'm running out of options for light enough crease colors. I don't want to use these really dark colors. Okay. And the 350S palette, which is all shimmer. Today is day four, so I went into row four, and I used this color, this beautiful, beautiful brown shimmer. It is gorgeous. So tomorrow I will be using the last row, and then Saturday I will just be choosing a color. All right. And for my lipsticks, I used, um, the whole reason I bought this lipstick is because of the name of it. It is by Soap and & Glory, and it is Sexy Mother Pucker. I love that name. And it is in color Rosy Chic. And... It's just such a pretty packaging, too. Isn't that pretty pink? And this is what it looks like. It's got the logo right there. And it's, um, it's pink. I, I, I'm not so sure that I would, there's a little bit of rose in it, maybe. But, you know, it's a very pretty pink. It's not in your face pink it's it's more of a really pinky nude I would say but it's pretty I like it a lot and you know with my eye colors this week I think it goes very well so that is day four to you tomorrow
Bye bye. Good morning, guys. This is Friday and day five of my making it work. I hope you're having a good start uh, to your weekend or the last day of your work week. Um, I have to work yet tomorrow and then I have a day off. So, anyway, let's get right to this. Uh, today I used my Ultra Brow Tint and Medium, my Ulta Eye Primer, my e.l.f. Mineral Volumizing Mascara in So Black, I believe. This writing is so tiny for me. Okay, uh, blush, Catrice Illuminating Blush in Color Me Maybe. And Catrice Highlighting Powder in, in Champagne Campaign. Today for my eyes, I used... The Morphe 35OM palette for my um, my base and my transition. And today I went back to using this one for my base. There aren't a whole lot of ones that I felt comfortable using as my base. So I went back to this one. This one's a, such a pretty, um, just a skin color. You know what I mean? And then I used, what did I use? I used this one for my transition today. I'm kind of running out of transition colors too, so I'll, tomorrow I'll just pick one, I think. Okay, and 35OS for my lid, and today is day five, so I had this dark row, and I chose that one, of course. Isn't that absolutely a beautiful bronze? I love it. Um, there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? It is just, oh my God. I am so in love with this color. But that is the most glittery. It is the most pigmented of any of them I've used. It goes on like a dream. But it, I had bronze down here and I have glitter all over right there. So, oh well. <clears throat> and I used my um, Bold's Collection from Maybelline today. This one is new. And 770 Mauvet is what I used today. Beautiful. It's a little bit darker mauve than I traditionally like, but I still do like it. I like just a little bit lighter mauve. This is bordering on... A little bit too brown for me but I still like it all right guys and thank you so much for joining me and I will see you on my last day of the week tomorrow bye-bye bye. and welcome to day six the last day of my making it work week and today I let you know what I thought of all the products that I used and let's get started so the first thing was um, my Ulta Brow Tint in Medium. And I normally use the light shade, which is um, a lot more taupey looking than this. This is, I'm, I'm getting used to it. Um, I don't mind it too much. It goes on like a dream. I really like it a lot. Um, will I repurchase? Heck yeah. Both in the light and the medium, actually. So, I do like it a lot. Okay, the next thing is my Ulta Eye Primer. You know that I will repurchase this, but I have a lot to go through before I do repurchase it. <laughs> um, e.l.f. Mineral Volumizing Mascara in So Black, I believe. Jet Black, I'm sorry. This is the wand. And it's, would I repurchase? Let's go to that first. Probably, because this is not a bad mascara. It is um, extremely dried out, though. <laughs> so it's going in my, my bin. But um, it's a good mascara. It doesn't clump. It's not too wet of a formula when it first starts. It, which is... A big, big um, deal for me. 
I do not like, like clumpy, clumpy mascaras. mascaras. And so this was a pretty good mascara. It wasn't, was it the best? Heck no. <laughs> By long shot. But it's a good mascara. I would probably repurchase it. So it's going in my bin once I take, a, take its picture. All right. Uh, Catrice Cosmetics Illuminating Blush in Coral Me Maybe. I really like this. Besides loving, absolutely loving their packaging, I think it's very pretty on my skin. I think it's, it suits me. Um, let me know what you think. I, I think it does. So would I repurchase? Yes. You know, for a makeup brand. These, you know, these are, are good products. Okay, the next thing is Catrice cosmetics highlighting powder in champagne campaign you guys know i love the name of this i don't know why it just makes me giggle <laughs> and the packaging again when i first the beginning of the week when i first used it it was like wow it was when you put it over um foundation it is awesome this um it's not quite so in your face when you use it on a bare face, like I do. Because I don't wear a foundation or that to work because I'd be a hot mess in about an hour <laughs> if I did. You know, working in a kitchen, you just can't wear tons of makeup. So anyway, um, it's pretty on my skin, don't get me wrong, but it's not a, a bam kind of like I like my highlighters to be. I don't like BAM in blushes, but in highlighters I kind of do. And this one here is very pretty. You, It is buildable though. I must say that. It is very buildable. So, I love it. Alright, the next things I used were my makeup palettes. And this week I used my Morphe 350M for my transition and my base. And today I used um this for my base and which one did I use for my transition this for my transition today um, this palette is awesome I love the Morphe palettes let me talk to you about them after I'm done talking to you about this one this one is the um, Morphe 350S which is all shimmer the other one is all matte Today I used, um, since I'd gone through row one through five, I decided I'd just pick one. And today I chose this color. Just, a, oh my gosh. So pretty. Let me show you that. It is so pretty on the eyes. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love those kind of shades, those um, shimmery browns to shimmery nickel to shimmery um, or bronze or that I love. And this is beautiful. And um, so anyway, the Morphe palettes. I absolutely love them. I am very happy with my purchase. They are powdery. Let, let's go get that right away because when after I'm done with my makeup I usually use a brush or a um, I just used a tissue just a little bit um, under my eye what did I do with that now and this is what I came up with that is eye makeup folks nothing else that is under my eye my I thought Geez, my eyes look really dark today. <laughs> I went and I had a lot of eye makeup on under my eyes. So there's a lot of powder fallout. There's a lot of glitter fallout um, on the deeper colors more so than on the lighter colors. The, um, but they they are so they are very pigmented that which is a very good thing. They are um, they go on like a dream. I have no trouble getting them on there and getting them to stay. They stay wonderfully. Um, I always use a base, you know, I mean, I always use a primer, of course, but they go on very well. They, they're just pretty. I, I love them. You know, 
are they I've I've had some high-end that the glitter falls out and they're powdery also so I don't think these are a bad bad palette at all would I repurchase heck yeah I would okay for my lipstick today I wore um, my other Urban Decay Vice lipstick and this one is back talk and it is a comfort matte and this is what it looks like. Just a really pretty, um, more of a nudie mauve. This is on the lighter shade of the mauve. And I really like it. Uh, so I had two Urban Decay Vices the, this week. The J.Lo um, L'Oreal Collection Exclusive the bolds from Maybelline, the sexy mother pucker from um, Soap and Glory, and the Essence one. Um, I can't say any of them were bad. They were all very good. I, I really liked every single one of these. They, uh, staying power. You know, I, I don't look in the mirror a lot during the day. Uh, until I eat, none of them lasted me after I ate. Let's put it that way. But until I eat, which is like maybe 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, they stay very well. After that, I don't worry about it too much. You know, it, it, I'm not one that has to, oh my God, my lipstick's coming off. I have to reapply it. That's not me. I do, um, I do once in a while, but not always. You know, I work in a bar. Come on. Um, I'm usually doing stuff or cleaning or cooking or doing stuff so I don't have time to worry about if my lipstick is staying on to tell you the honest truth although I'm a lipstick person I you know you guys know me I love lipstick so I just bought two more so <laughs> I'm replenishing my collection I guess you could say anyway um, I loved all of these the they all went on very well. None of them were drying. None of them felt um, like they slid all over my face. Um, I enjoyed every single one of these. So if you're thinking about getting any of these, I recommend them all. So um, that is my making it work for the week. And tomorrow is my day off. Yay! I have um, a couple videos to do tomorrow. I'll do another get ready with me as I always do on Sundays. Um, that is just kind of the way I do Talk things to you now. very soon. Bye-bye.